Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is EPR Originals and today, today, today is Savings Challenge Sunday with Rigel. Rigel this weekend has been the star cat, unlike Gigi, who's usually the star cat. Rigel is not as destructive as Gigi, but she still is in the way. Okay, so it's Savings Challenge Sunday. First thing before we get into my savings challenges, we are going to do the hashtag BCL shout outs for this week. This is the first week of round two. BCL, hashtag BCL. I started by budgeting April. She's put a lot of work into this. She's compiled several YouTube budgeters and has a list of everybody to go out and support each week. A uh, list of four people to go support each week. And so their names should be rolling across the screen as we speak. And so go check them out. And again, thank you, Budgeting April, for uh, all the hard work you put into hashtag BCL. So now that we've done that, we're going to get into our savings challenges. Hopefully I can get this going a little bit smoother than usual. So savings challenge binder there. Okay, so first we're going to start with my paying off an elephant. Uh, my dollars are paying off an elephant. So actually, no, for, yep, first thing we're starting with dollars paying off an elephant. I have my stuff organized here, so it's all kind of whoppy sided in the back and the thing. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten dollars to go into my paying off an elephant full envelope. And then my next one is my um a penny savings challenge. This week, I have, then this bucket, I have, let me get a highlighter here. Let's go with this highlighter. This bucket, I have $3.41 plus $3.40 is what's in this bucket. So, we'll get those two big ones out of the way. So... And then in this one right here, we have 42 cents plus 43 cents plus 44 cents. And this one, I'm going to dump that now too. Keep having to reach around where my camera's at. So that is my change for the week. Woohoo! Okay, let's see. Let me get my change stuff out of the way. I'm gonna need Grandma's Lucky Penny in a minute. So, I'll put that back up later. So, the next is my two Savvy Challenges by Budget with Cat. My rainy day fund that I'm using for retire early, which is getting a dollar. And my something I love fund, which is getting a dollar also, which is, going to, which is for travel. So, let me call in these two trackers real quick. So, I was had my color scheme planned out, but for some reason, I just didn't, I ended up not going in order for whatever reason. So, it is perfectly fine. So, there are my two for the week. So, these are done. Let me put these away. Just gonna need this one in a minute. Anyway. So those are put away. And then next is my payday bingo, followed by my 100 envelope challenge. So I have, this should be 35, 25, 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 35. So payday bingo, my first payday bingo game, I have one five. So that's $10. Think I have a 10, yeah. Yes, I have a 10 in there, so I'm going to take out a 10 and put in a 20. Okay. Then my next one is the $5 bingo game, and I also have a 5 on that. So that gets 5 in my second one. Okay, there's my second one. And then my third game is $2.00. 
And it also has a five, I believe, yes, right there. So that gets $2, one, two. Our game gets $2, $2, $2, $2. Okay, and then my fourth one does not have any fives. So that's it for my payday bingo. So I've got 10, 15, 16, 17, $18 left. So this $18 goes over to my 100 envelope challenge. My $18 one is full. The closest one I have is 16. I'm so I'm gonna do the 16, which leaves me $2, one, two. And I'm gonna hold this $2 to the side till we get to the end of my oddball challenges I do at the end. So $16 is going in my 100 envelope challenge spot. Okay. Kitty's got crooked there, Kitty's got crooked there. We're gonna be straighten up. Oh, this can go in there too. I'm trying to get there through this quickly because I do feel like since I've redone these things, they go a little slow. So this next stack of money goes between my mystery savings challenge that I got from TNL Budgets and my roll the dice. That's a challenge I made myself because it's a simple one. So I believe this is 65, 20, 30, 5, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 65. We're gonna do roll the dice first. Let's see. I got five. A three and a two, so that's five dollars for roll the dice. And I'm going to roll, yeah, I'm gonna roll them again. I'm gonna roll the dice one more time. Roll them one more time. Let's see what I got. I got a seven. Five, six, seven. One, and a six. Ooh. Dollar Tree stickers did not stay. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to make that one work. Might try to play with it and make it work later. One and a six. Okay, that's it. Let me get my dice out of the way. I'm gonna see if, what have I got in here? I'm gonna see if I can do some change here. Cause I don't know what the future will bring in my savings challenges. So 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Put 20 in there. Okay. So I'm through with this one. Okay, let's see. See how much money I have left for my mystery savings challenge scratch off. Let's see. 10, 15, 25, 35, 45, 6, 7, 8, 9, 51, 2, 3. So I got $53 for this mystery scratch off. So first week I scratched off the 25 and the 15. Second week I scratched off the 40. And I stopped because I knew I didn't have enough money beyond that. Let's see what my luck is this week. Where am I gonna go this week? I'm gonna go here. Uh, it's 35. And let's see, it's 35. That is a sad $10 bin. 10, 15, 20, 35, 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3. So here's my dilemma. Do I want to try again and hope I get something less than $23? I think I'm going to try again. I need to come over here and scratch on a hard surface. It doesn't scratch very good there. Oh my gosh, I got $30. I got $30. I didn't think of what I was gonna do when I got over. Let's see, I'm gonna take these $2 over oddball savings. 5, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
21, 2, 3, 4, 5. It's 25. So I owe it $5. Hmm. I did not have a contingency plan for owing $5. Hmm. What to do, what to do, what to do. I really don't want to pull it from my other ones because it's my next set of savings challenges because my money for that is kind of tight. Huh. So I got a scrap piece of paper over here. I'm just gonna make a note. I owe you $5. I got a little clip somewhere. Should have a handy dandy clip over here in this other little binder. Okay. Note to self, do not scratch off two. You were lucky the first week. All this is going in my mystery savings challenge. all going in my mystery savings challenge and that can go away the next are my other little savings challenges i forgot my 24 envelope box i have to pause and go get my 24 envelope well you know what i'm just gonna pull the what money i'll put out in it out for it and i'm just gonna pull the money that i was complaining on putting in for it out and we will we will Stuff it in the envelope later. 20, 45, 55, 61, 2, 3, 4, 5. Another 65. Okay, so for my 24 envelope challenge, I decided I was going to do 23. So basically, the way I'm working my 24 envelope challenge is one week I'm doing the highest number, the next week I'm doing the two lowest numbers. And if I have any money left over, I'll come and stuff an additional one. But I'm not going to have any money left over this week because I already owe another one $5. And I do need to do my oddball challenges at the end. So, one, two, three, and 20. So, that's that. That is it for that one. Then, next are my cat savings challenges from um, Happy Mailbox Co., which is Lisa Grateful Me. Um... I am planning on finishing this one this week, then this week, this month. So between this paycheck and next paycheck, I want to finish this off. So I'm gonna do $10 in this one and I'm not gonna do the other two. And this, once I finish this, I am going to give a donation. Hello. Okay, so I'm gonna put the 20 in here and take out these two fives. Hi, Rigel. I'm gonna give a donation, but not to Rigel. I have some feral cats. If y'all have been watching me, you know I have some feral cats that I take care of. And I had a rescue help me with them. So once I finish this, this is going to go as a donation to the rescue that helped me with my feral cats. Now my other two cat challenges, one of them is going to go to help me get an outside shelter for the winter for the feral cats. Which they have a shelter out there now that they used last winter. But I'd like to get them a little sturdier, more permanent one than what I got them last year. So that's what the $15 challenge is going to end up going to. So, did I put my money in there? I did. I put my money in there. So I am through with these. Okay, these are through. I'm not going to come back and stuff. I'm not coming back and stuffing anything this week through any of these. I'm just going to go with what I originally planned. So, for my dancer challenge, this goes to my dance sinking fund. I want to finish this challenge up this month, but I'm only going to put $6 in it, which is, um, each of these are $2. So, I am going to do these three here, which gets me halfway through. Okay, it gets me halfway through. I really kind of wanted to put a little bit more than the six I planned, it, planned to come back and put it in there, but it's not going to happen this week because I already owe $5. So, might as well put that away. Okay, and then next is my elef my 12 elephant, which is kind of like a 12 envelope challenge. 
And this week, I'm going to be putting $5 in it. I don't know. I have a little bit more money than I thought I did. And I started coloring, all, coloring these elephants for the first time, and I just didn't like the way it looked. Let me try coloring it again. I didn't like the way it looked when I colored the first one. So I decided I'd mark it off. I think it's just my coloring skills. I don't have coloring skills. Yeah. It kind of looks... See, my green one kind of looks like a blob. And now this blue one looks like a blob. So I think I'm going to go with marking them off. I do. I think it just looks like a blob. Put $5 in that. Okay. That's my 12 elephant challenge. Um, next is what I call my octagon challenge. And I think this week... I'm going to put, I'm going to get a different marker for this one. I think I'm going to do another five. And this one, once it's done, it will go to my um, medical dental sinking fund. So these challenges I just did, these last three, hi, Rigel. Then once they're completed, they each have a sinking fund they're earmarked to go to fund. Uh, in addition to what I am stuffing with my sinking funds. Um, I'm not stuffing anything in my dance sinking fund right now because I'm at my cap, but this will go and fund it over my cap. So that's that. This next one is my what the H-E double hockey sticks did I do challenge that I'm starting this week. Now, my intention for this one when I designed this one was to pay back something I... Um, to pay back something that I spent money on that I regretted spending the money. And I'm gonna, I have this on my sinking, on my savings challenge shop. And I do have my correction on there that says what the HEW hockey sticks did I do. Um, and I'll put five in it this week. So each of my single hockey sticks are $5. And my double hockey sticks are $10. So what, what I'm using this for instead of what I was attending when I thought about when I designed this, when I came up with the design for this, what I'm using it for is I'm going to, I'm doing a Costco haul this week and I'm using this to pay myself back for the Costco haul because I'm going to put the Costco haul on my, on my credit card. I don't think I may, may not be the whole, this will be 150 when it's done. I may not spend a whole 150 at Costco because I'm sure that I'll take a little bit of money out of groceries and household to pay for some of the stuff I'm paying for at Costco, but this was to kind of cover what I'd end up not taking out of there. And I was looking at prices at Costco because I was thinking about getting meat and I wouldn't look at prices at Costco online. And you know what? Honestly, pound for pound is really not any better than the grocery store. So I don't know. I may not do want to do a Costco meat haul. So let's see. I've got $11 left. You know what I'm going to do? Yeah. I'm gonna pay myself back five dollars the five dollars so that's not hanging over my head next time. Paying myself back that five dollars. And, and you know what I'm also gonna do? I'm also gonna get five ones. So I'm gonna put this five in there and get five ones. This money is in all this array. I have a good bit of money in there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that is paid back. That's paid back. <sighs> Rigel, you know you are in the way. I know you're a cute kitty, but you are in the way. Okay, at least you're not like Gigi and knocking things over, right? Gigi is asleep in the bedroom. So, so next are my oddball challenges have four of these oddball challenges. These are challenges I made up with just weird, not really weird numbers, just numbers that I kind of came up with to equal certain amounts. And as I finish them, these will roll over to my 100 envelope challenge. So I had planned on finishing up this one this week, which is $4, but I've got one, two, three, four, five, six dollars, and I wanted to put some in each one of these. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a dollar in this one, a dollar in that one, 
a dollar in this one, and then three dollars in this one, which will leave me with one dollar to finish this one up next week, next paycheck, two in two weeks. Think I'm gonna do that because you know what? My my stated goal was to finish it by the end of the month, even though I really thought I was gonna finish it today. It can wait another two weeks because this money's not gonna roll over right away anyway. And that way I did also do my objective of stuffing each one of these a little bit. So spread the money around. Oh, and I forgot, I did find a star note and I forgot to try to find it and show you guys. So it's shuffled somewhere in my money this time. Cause I've been looking for star notes been looking for star notes for a little while because I see everybody else finding them and I was beginning to think that they were unicorns because I could not find one however I did find one this week and it's mixed in here somewhere my Sammy challenges I'm not saving them out separately because I already feel like I'm doing too many savings challenges for the amount of money I have for savings challenges I already feel like I'm spreading my money out a little thin so you know, if I'd had a less, I had five dollars less, then some of these things wouldn't have got stuffed. So, because some of them just got one dollar. So those are that. Those are in, and I will put this in my box that I'm sad I did not bring out. So, put those in my hundred, in my twenty-four envelope box, and that's it. That is it. I can put this back up where it goes. So this goes. Y'all don't need to see me pack up. You do not need to see me pack up. But um, I do I, I do want to uh, mention that I do have a savings challenge website on PayHip where I have the HE Double Hockey Sticks, the Octagon Challenge. I'm trying to think what all I've got. The HE Double Hockey Sticks, the Octagon Challenge, the Dancer Challenge, I have this unicorn savings challenge where you color in the unicorn for an amount equals $40. And this little ear over here is a one, which is kind of hard to see even on the printout. I have a Christmas savings challenge that you make it what you want it to be. And a back to school savings challenge that you make it what you want it to be. And those are the challenges I have right now on that shop. And I will put some more out on Friday. I'm probably gonna do, I'm planning on doing some scratch off challenges but I'm not 100% sure I'm gonna have them ready to go on Friday. So if I don't, I do have some more digital ones. And I'll thank you guys for joining me. Like any other YouTube channel, you can like, subscribe, share, all those wonderful things. Thank you guys for joining me on this Savings Challenge Sunday and join me again in two weeks for my next payday weekend. Unless I jump on here for something else. That's it. <laughs> Bye.